Now we come to the measurement of the conductance of electrolytic solution, right? The conductance of electrolytic solutions. Now, now let us let us try to first of all understand what certain terms in electricity mean before we go into the measurement of the conductance of a liquid. Okay, so let us start first of all with a solid. Okay, so so let there be a solid of cross sectional area A and a length length L. Okay. Let the length be L and the and the area of cross section be A. Then the resistance the resistance of the of the substance. Okay. Which is denoted by R is directly proportional to the length L of the substance. We have assumed that the area of cross section is, is uniform throughout, right? Okay, so it is like a cylinder or, or if it is a, a, a square or, or maybe rectangular parallel or pipes, then, then to the area of cross section should remain the same at all points. So, this and R is inversely proportional to A. So, so what do I mean? I mean to say if the resistance of this is R, then the resistance of something that is twice in length, that will become, that will become 2R. This will be R and R in series, that will be 2R. And if the resistance of this is so much, and I double the area, and, and I, here, here it is 2R, and if I double the area, not this, but of the single one, if I double this area, then the resistance is inversely proportional. So it becomes R by 2. Fine. Now if I combine these two, then R is directly proportional to L, inversely proportional to A. And in all cases of proportionality, Whenever it vanishes and is replaced by, by an equality, it is always accompanied by, by a constant here, which, which we, we, we designate as rho. We pronounce it like that. Okay, and it is called resistivity, resistivity or specific resistance. Okay, it is called resistivity or specific resistance. Fine. Resistivity is something that is, that is accepted by the IUPAC. Indian yeah, International Union for Pure and Applied Chemistry and, and, and this is not in, in, in vogue. So we'll keep on calling it a resistivity. If you remember your class 10th, then you were told that, that the, the, U, the resistance by Ohm's law, okay? It was Ohm's law that told you that R is nothing but V upon I. Okay. It'll be V upon I. That is the basic definition from where you define R. Okay. So, so, so that is what? That is volt per ampere. Is it not? 
Now what will be its unit in the base unit? Let's try to see. See, volt is nothing. Volt, volt, volt per ampere. Okay. Now volt is nothing but work done, work done per unit charge. This multiplied by ampere. Now work done is joule, this is charge, Q into ampere, right? Now what is that? What is the work done? Work done is actually force into displacement divided by A, Q, Q has no base unit, it is ampere which has a base unit and Q becomes ampere into T, into ampere, right? This is? time. This is displacement. So force has, force is what? What? It is mass into acceleration. So kg, acceleration is meter per second square or, or I'll write it like that. Meter per second square into meter divided by, divided by, I'm, I'm converting it into the unit second. Okay, here it was displacement. Here it has S has become the unit, right? So don't don't get confused. This is an informal way of uh, coming to it. So so it is S. So it becomes actually kg meter square and, and and into a square that is ampere square divided by by s cube. Okay, this is per second cube into into ampere square. Okay, so so SI unit is SI unit of R is is kg meter square per second cube into ampere square. Okay. Okay. And and this so so one kg meter square per second cube ampere square is termed as one ohm. Or, or designated as, as capital Greek letter Ohm. Fine? So that is our SI unit of R. Fine? That is SI unit of R. Now what is the unit of Rho? Rho is R into A upon L upon L. So, so that is its unit is kg meter square per second cube ampere square into meter square upon meter. That gives you, so it becomes kg meter cube upon second cube ampere square. Okay. You can also call it, call it ohm meter, ohm meter, okay, so, so, so unit of, unit of rho, that is the resistivity is that, okay, unit of resistivity is that, and they are convertible, many a times you will find out, instead of ohm meter, we use ohm centimeter. So what is the conversion? Ohm meter. Conversion remains very, very simple. This into 100 centimeters. So that is 100 ohm centimeter, right? So one ohm meter is equal to 100 ohm centimeter. So one ohm centimeter is 0 0.01 ohm meter. We get the point? So, so that is how the conversion goes, fine, okay. Now we come to, now we come to something called conductance, okay. Something called conductance, conductance. Conductance, which is denoted by the letter capital G, Okay, conductance, 
which is denoted by capital G is actually 1 upon R. It is nothing but the reciprocal of R. This is reciprocal of R which is denoted by G okay and can be written as per ohm okay but that is given a new new unit which is called Siemens Siemens okay so unit for conductance one per ohm, 1 upon ohm is equal to 1 Siemens. Okay, it is in capitals. Do not confuse it for small s that we reserve for second. 1 Siemens. Fine. Now what is that equal to? The value of R is so much so that actually becomes A upon rho L. Now 1 upon rho is something called kappa. Kappa, okay, this is called Kappa, this is called Kappa into A upon L, okay, and what is Kappa? Kappa as we see is, is 1 upon rho, okay, that is reciprocal of resistivity so it is called conductivity conductivity right we'll soon see there is a logic behind this okay okay so 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 higher the resistance lower is its conductance do we see that higher the resistance lower is the conductance so, a lower value of G tells me that the conducting ability of that material is less. So, it is very rightly named as conductance. Okay. Similarly, a material with a very high resistivity will have a very small conductivity. That is why kappa has been defined as 1 upon rho and has been called as conductivity. Something which is, which is uh, in case of resistance, something which has got a very small amount of resistance, say for metals, for, 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 for the same standard, for the same standard length, say, say, 1 meter length and say, 0 0.01 meter square of, of things you take, then what happens? Then, then what happens is, 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 is that, uh, that the, the something that has got lesser resistance is more, is, is more of a conductor. Okay, so it conducts more. So, so, so a lesser resistance tells you more conductance. So, 1 upon R, if this is very small, G will be very high and that will indeed tell you how well something conducts. Or if G of, or if R is very high and G is very small, that tells you how poorly something conducts. Same with resistivity and conductivity, a material with a very high amount of resistivity with, with a very high amount of resistivity that will have that will have a very small amount of conductivity so for the same dimension of two materials one with a higher resistivity will have lesser conductivity okay now rho rho is something rho is something that depends on the material it depends on the on the material okay it depends on the material how do i find out the resistivity of something okay how do i find out the resistivity of something you see if i put l as 1 and a as 1 then whatever is my resistance is my resistivity magnitude wise okay but taking say a 1 meter square of of area may be a bit difficult so you can you can specify this measure this resistance this is readily measurable okay so so whatever is the is the resistance multiplied by l by a or divided by l by a that will give you the resistivity so so I, I say that resistivity 
I say that resistivity or I should say the resistance of a material resistance of a material with unit length with the unit length and unit cross sectional area area equals equals the resistivity resistance of a material with unit length and unit cross section area equals the resistivity of the material okay resistivity of the material okay now we come to now we come to conductance fine <coughs> so 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 you see the the conductivity here too i can apply the same kind of theory that that i have ultimately g is equal to kappa into a upon l so what if i put my let me let me highlight them okay Now what happens if my area and L are unit? So I make another statement that conductance of a material is the same as its as its conductivity or, or or i should say of a material with unit length and unit cross sectional area and unit cross sectional area area equals the conductivity of the material equals the conductivity of the material right we understand okay now here too what what will be my units let's try to understand so so what will be the unit of of we had we had seen how how my rho okay one rho is equal to so much right one rho was one ohm into a upon l so one ohm meters similarly i can find out what my conductivity is so so conductivity conductivity kappa so so i say 1 kappa is equal to this is siemens 1 siemens into l upon a l has the units okay kappa is equal to g into l upon a so that is that is siemens into meter upon meter square which is siemens per meter right Siemens per meter. So one kappa is one Siemens per meter, and this is equal to it is one Siemens upon one meter. Okay, one Siemens per meter. So that is equal to one Siemens divided by hundred centimeters. So that is that is point zero.